What is it that makes a man rise to the top of his profession, a man to be dominant in the world of sports, the world of combat sports? It takes heart, it takes determination, it takes that fire to get into the ring and to fight over and over. Very few achieve that greatness, but this man here, Ramon Diamond Decker, has achieved that and more. A veteran of over 197 fights, Decker has fought all over the world, has proven time and time again why he is among the greatest legends in the history of the martial arts. He has done it by raging against his opponents, by devastating his opponents, by using his punching, by using his heart. The Thais had not seen these kind of punches before. They were used to the knees, they were used to the elbows, they were used to the high kicks. But it was with that ice-cold-blooded efficiency that he set up those punches that he had so well schooled under the tutelage of four hammers and devastated the Thai champion with that final hook uppercut. Decker was now becoming a legend around the world and the Thais wanted him beaten badly. Poban was at that time the biggest name from Thailand. He had never been knocked out. He knocked out opponent after opponent. And of course, they all want him to lose because Diamond Decker defeating their national pride. He is better in their national sport. So he knew that if he didn't knock him out, he would lose the fight. Everybody knew now who Ramon Decker was. He is probably the most uh, respected Falang foreigner in Thailand, fighting like the Thais. He fought them all. He fought them on their rules, on the, in their land, in their rings, and he beat them. The fists of the legend, Ramon Decker.
If ever there was a fighter who epitomized from head to toe what you need to know about stand-up fighting in the ring against ties, against people from around the world, it was Ramon Decker, the great one, finally ending a great career. You know what's sad? I will tell you what's sad. Sad is that the government in Holland, you didn't give him an an uh, eerbetoon. Oké, okay, de regering kent hem niet in Nederland, maar in Thailand kreeg hij een award van de koning. De koning kent hem daar. De oudste dochter van de koning gaf hem een award. Uh, nou, ik kan dat niet schrijven. Dat is verder special. Ik Hij was de eerste vechter, de eerste buitenlandse vechter, die een award kreeg voor beste vechter van het jaar in Thailand. Een kerel zoals Ramon Dekkers, als ik dat heb niet, niet heb gezien, dat is echt ongelooflijk. Ik hoop dat de regering, de regering het ooit goed kan maken en dat ze erachter komen wat voor een echt persoon Ramon Dekker was. In de ring, especially outside. Of oh, dat je wat doet. You're not known very well in Holland, but you're very famous in Thailand and Japan. How do you feel about not being very well known in your own country? Yeah, I'm used to it now. When I walk on the streets in Thailand, everybody recognizes me and asks for autographs and pictures. Yeah, here in Holland, uh, yeah, they don't know you, so, but you get used to it, I think. <laughs>